Hello friends, thanks again for checking back my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I am your friend Namodan Shaktivel and today we have a very interesting topic how to attach a company logo uh, you know to our extent reports so this is one of the main criteria right so normally when we present to the managers or clients they are so you know affiliated with the company they want to see the company logo in the extent reports again we will cover this you know in a, in a very quick video so let me quickly create a you know a class where i can tell attach extent attach logo maybe so this is this is going to be our problem statement. So see we have to attach the company logo. To the excellent report. Okay, so if you're new here, you know, don't don't forget to check the part two section. Okay, where I have explained about how to use config files. Okay, how to use config files to set up external reports, please check that please check that uh, you know before uh, watching this video anyway let, let me quickly create a test okay uh, i want to use a test ng test simple test ng test let me name it as maybe attach logo test okay let me import from test ng good and if you notice this is the code that we have used so far okay uh, or maybe i'll create it separately again no problem so we are using extent reports 5.0.5 so so if you're using any older version so please check out the remaining you know videos in the playlist to understand so let me quickly create the object for this extent reports class okay and that's also input input from com i want stack dot extent reports yeah and we also need to create a spark reporter extend spark reporter and let me name it as spark new spark reporter and it's asking for the file part okay where you want to generate your html file i want to generate my reports in the root folder so i'll give like this and the name of the file will be index.html again uh, this time uh, to attach the logo I, I have to use the uh, xml config okay xml config file that's given by extent reports to perform this okay so to do this i uh, you know there is a there is a method they have so spark dot load xml config so you can give the file or the string okay so let me create a new file okay and the path of the file so if you notice this is the extent config dot xml you know that we downloaded from their official repository so we go go to their repository you know you can uh, you can click on this view spark iphone config.xml and it will take take you to their github repo okay inside the config folder they have two things one is spark config.json and spark config.xml so we are we're gonna deal with xml here so you can just copy this whole thing and you know create a new file inside your eclipse workspace i have named it as extend config.xml so i can give the name here good and let me also import this file java ivo it may throw some exception it's okay and again my id has some problems it seems yeah, it's not going let me close this again open it yeah. again if you notice uh, next step we have to attach the spark reporter so attach reporter uh, the spark to the extent once we attach you know what are the logs that we are writing to the you know it will it will get logged into this spark reference object so it will get written into this index.html so this is very important step next we will create a very simple test okay extend test Test object extend dot create test. Okay, let me name this as first test. Okay, for simple reasons, and you can also import this. So I want to write some logs. Maybe uh, test started. Maybe if you want to add more logs, you can add that. For now, I'll keep it as. 
when test finished good now i also want to flush the reports at the end so that it will be generated unless you call this method you know your report will not have any logs okay you need to use this method and i'll also want to open the report automatically so you know, without manually going and refreshing the folder so and then i want to use browse method okay and then give the path where your where, which file you want to open i want to open this file automatically again this this method you know um, will accept a file argument so it be uri to uri so this will automatically open the report for me the only change that i am going to do okay i have my i want to attach this company logo this is a google image i have downloaded this from uh, you know in your case it can be your company logo but make sure your your file size is little less okay if you have a bigger image you cannot fit that in the you know in the report so make sure it is it will the size is very less you know so i have you know placed it in src test resources logos and inside that i have created a file called google logo and then placed this image okay so what the change that i am going to do in my excel config is just to include the path okay go to the report name section okay add this report okay you can get this report from here okay just copy it and paste it here and remove all this section okay so you'll get this here i am i am you know including a new tag called image uh with the with the you know this is having src as the link as src test resources because it you know it by default it will look for my current uh, working directory so it will already it was already here okay if you you can also put the full path but in and if you put that full path it will not work in others machine so make sure you give a relative path so i am giving relative path you know with respect to my current working directory so src test resources inside that i have logos i say that i have google logo that jpg file this is the only change that you need to do within few seconds so let's try to run the test now and see what's happening so it should automatically open the report for me so yeah see it has opened and most importantly if you can see the google logo image here okay if you if you see the image is very bigger in your case maybe it's so big that it's uh, you know even uh, uh, hiding some of your test then you might need to reduce the size of the image okay there are some online tools available to reduce the size please use them to reduce the size okay uh, yeah so this is how it is even it will be displayed in all other views even if you change the no team it will still be appearing okay i i think we have covered you know what the task for today that's all from my side have a good day thank you if you like my channel please do subscribe and like and also give your feedback so that i can continue to improve thank you have a good day